la música de Harry Fraud. I be bowling right there where the next play get cake. Gotta make sure my... It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm at Cohen. And away we go. Down. with a defender in his space. I like that aggression early. You never just settle for jumpers. You attack, you attack, you attack. Then when they back off, you'll have room to shoot that, Jay. Holiday. Missed that one. The defender was all over him. Harris with it. 12 to six, our score. From long range. Not that time. Pelicans have the basketball. Holiday. Almost, but no good. Woo, I like that intensity on that play. That's in the slam. That's a good run right here to end the first quarter to open up that lead. If you're the coach of this team, you have to like the effort your guys are giving. Off the mark. He's made those before, but that was well defended. And that's how you make a difference. Every shot that the offense takes. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. Holiday. Off the mark. He loves the tough shots, but that one may be too tough. Harris with it. Shot clock turned off as they get a chance to build their lead. The assist from number 34, Devin Harris. That misses with two seconds to go. Final chance from three quarters court off the mark. And that does it for the first quarter. We played one at American Airlines Center with Ed Cohen. Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. New Orleans going to take it up. Peyton. He was all over. Missed the shot. No free throws. I agree. I thought there was a foul, but also it's all about your approach. You can't come down the lane and jump off one leg. It's called a power lift. Go off two legs and expect the contact. Peyton into the front court. Trailing by 14. Payton. Oh, a whistle. A simple touch foul. Number 33. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. Payton. Oh, they call the foul. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. To Peyton. Inside, he scores. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Dallas owns the basketball. Let's it fly from long range. Tough shot. Well defended. Peyton with the basketball. Down a dozen. No good. Great defense. Here's Berea. Lead is 12. That's the shooter's mentality. Stays with it after the miss. 
And see, this is simple. This is where the PG pulls the bigs over to the side and says, we can't allow that to happen. You need to be an enforcer down low. Hayden, down low to Okafor. Shot from the lane, won't go. See, I don't like that shot right there. Pass the ball, get the defense moving, maybe set a hard screen, bolt, and finish is strong. This is becoming a runaway. They're getting to the rim at will, probably because we're watching Matador defense. You probably want to get in the way of your defender if they keep trying to attack the rim. So Let's go, fellas. It's go time. Substitutions, New Orleans. Stepping in for the Mavericks. Not a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. And Dirk gets up to block the shot. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Holiday. Throws it up. Oh, blocked away. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Jordan. And the finish. Slam dunk. An easy two. Get back on defense. Pelicans basketball. Screen coming. Baseline drive. It goes down. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Here's Berea. His guys hold a commanding lead. To Jordan. Off the assist. Who's controlling the paint? The offense is controlling the paint right now. The defense needs to do a better job of making it more uncomfortable for those easy lays. Hayden into the front court. Down a bundle. Nothing going here on that drive. Holiday to Payton. To Holiday. with another basket there. Drew Holiday really showed the world last year that he was special during that playoffs against the Golden State Warriors and Stephen Curry. He's battled through injury, some off-the-court adversity with his wife, but he's rebounded stronger than ever, averaging around 19 points a game last season, the highest of his nine-year career. Now pass, stolen by the Pelicans. Holiday controls the basketball. His guys down big. From the painted area, won't go down. But you can't just be a one-dimensional player. I know you're probably frustrated, but stuffs it down with authority. I mean, with so much talk these days about three-point shooting and the spacing on the court and having versatile athletic wings, sometimes when you have a dominant big man, you keep giving him the ball. You let him be that anomaly. To Holiday. Knock loose. And that'll get out of bounds off one of the Mavericks. So the Pelicans hold on to the possession. Holiday. Davis to Holiday. New Orleans down to four in the shot clock. Knocked loose. Mavs have it. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Stuffs it down with authority. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Holiday to Payton. Watch the pick. You see it. You see it. Picked up by the Mavericks. Here's Berea. His guy's holding the big lead. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. Just wait a second, Ed. Wait one second. Can we go back to the play before this great play that we just saw? Just because you have a bad offensive possession, you can't allow that to go down and reciprocate itself on the defensive end. One bad play does not make two bad plays. You have to bounce back. That's how you play this game. Gets off the three at the buzzer. A very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at halftime. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. The Mavericks. And with that, I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game. It's Pelican's ball. Holiday. To Davis. 
Oh, oh it's rejected it. by Jordan. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Beyond the arc for th and a putback slam. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Matthews to Nowitzki. Can't connect. Defense did its job that time. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Smith. Slams it home on the putback. Man, they are just continuing to pour it on, but the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. Holiday to Julius Randle. And counted at the rim. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. To Nowitzki. Thought it's blocked by Davis. Foot was on the line. It's a turnover. New Orleans has it. Payton to Davis. Holiday. That's off the side of the rim. No good. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. Let me tell you something that nobody will ever talk about. Did you see him slow down right before he was about to go up? That slow change of speed, that slight change was just enough to throw the defender off. to the basket, but his shot stays out. Seems like a lot of contact on that play. If I were that player, I would pull the ref over to the side, talk to him, express to him how much contact there was so he could look for that same foul call potentially the next time down the court. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball, but sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. off the three-point play as they continue to open things up here in the third quarter. New Orleans will take it up. Take stock of the floor. Anthony Davis lets it fly. The jab step opens up space to knock down the jumper. Inside or outside? Can any seven-footer in the NBA match this guy's versatility? Not yet. Not yet, but Chris Stapps Perzingis is very, very close. Jordan. You got him. You got him. To Nowitzki. Perfect feed to set up the basket. I've seen him float so much on the perimeter, I forgot he even had that kind of physical presence. Good to see him beating up on people down low again. To Holiday. Knocked loose. Mavs have it. Wesley Matthews above the rim. Whistle stops play. Timeout New Orleans. As their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. Just a reminder of today's ticket. Looks like both teams are making substitution. Jordan. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Smith into the front court. He'll run the offense. 
Here's a chance from long range to Dennis Smith Jr. Goes to the right side. And that'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Pelicans. Barnes. He drills the three. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Pelicans have the basketball. Holiday. Yes, it drops. A little drama on that one. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Smith now into the front court. Looking to make something happen. To Jordan. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Free throws good as they continue to widen their lead. Here comes the screen. Holiday. Over to the right side. Fires the three. Missed it. And the rebound comes down to Smith. The game is won in the details. The team who has the most attention to the minutia is a team that wins the ball game. And from the beginning of this game, This team has been mentally engaged. I know the season's a long year, but when you come mentally engaged and you have attention to detail, whew, that's a scary thing to watch. To Holiday. Give him two points. High percentage. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Dallas with the possession. Let's go. Pick him up. Pick him up. Smith. Here we go. Oh, we go. Not a good pass as the Pelicans come up with it. Great looking vision. And look out. Big finish at the rim. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Smith to Nowitzki. He gets it. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Holiday. Driving right to the basket. Got a piece. And it's not just about blocking shots. It's about the physicality of the game. How about on all these down screens, your bigs are bumping these guys off the screen, allowing you to catch up to the play defensively. That's why you're playing so well. Knocked away. Was it coming down? Yes, it was. Goaltending. Mavericks with the basketball. Smith. To Nowitzki. Make it hard on him. Slams it down. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Holiday. That's usually one that he'll knock down. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots, but the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. 
take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Buries it on the catch and shoot. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Now a three at the buzzer. Victory to the Mavericks as they win this one in very convincing fashion. That does it for my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew. The Mavericks. On behalf of Ed Corn and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.